out there YouTube what's going on guys it is D done here the most chill cod player and I am back from vacation and it feels good even though I enjoyed every single minute of my vacation uh, you know it's nice to come back and sleep in your own bed and obviously it was great to see the kids again because they stayed with my in-laws and then my parents so it is just absolutely great uh, to be home see the kids like I said, sleep in your own bed, be in your own house, familiar smells and sounds and everything. So, you know, it's great to be back. But, uh, you know, last night after we got home, got all settled in, it was time for me to hop back on the sticks. And I was a little rusty. Actually, I was quite a bit rusty. And uh, <laughs> and so, you know, I decided that, uh, you know, I just need to get a DNA bomb uh, under my belt and, uh, you know, make sure that <clears throat> um, I hadn't lost my touch so to speak, and so um, you know, I decided to uh, play a certain way with a uh, with certain guns, and uh, lo and behold, about two games later, I managed to pick up a DNA bomb, and uh, it got me thinking. You know, this would actually be a really good video, and I know a lot of people do these sorts of videos, um, but I want to make a video uh, showing and kind of telling you guys how um, you know how to just pick up easy DNA bombs. Um, this does work, you know, on a not reverse boosted account. Uh, this is how I got my first DNA bomb, um, which was, like I said, on a non-reverse uh, boosted account or anything like that. So, you know, it really does work. You know, obviously it helps if you're playing bad players, but um, it does work against good players as well. So um, I know, <clears throat> uh, first things first, let's go ahead and talk about your class setup. So um, I actually would not recommend running SMG, uh, even if you have something as good as the speakeasy or something like that. I honestly would not recommend it. I think you'd be better off uh, using the BAL or the AK, even if you have like an ARX, like the hole puncher, that's a good one, um, and a melee, um, also a good one, just something that will kind of keep you long range, and uh, I recommend you play Domination, and it's really, really simple, guys. Uh, you just want to capture two flags and then just defend those flags, so, you know, it, it does take a little bit of time to find those lobbies uh, where your team is not going to triple cap, and you also need to find... Um, a lobby where the enemy team is trying to cap flag. So that's what I found here, and I managed to pick up, like I said, a pretty easy DNA bomb. So, you know, run toughness. If you want to run blast suppressor, you can. I don't. I prefer to run scavenger since I'm trying to go on long streaks. And like I said, just kind of use an AR, and you're just going to see me rotating back and forth between B and A, uh, picking them up, picking them off, um, off of flags, and, uh, you know, getting, you know, a few long range shots here and there, you know, picking them across the map, and that's what an AR is for. Um, the entire night I was using the speakeasy and, um, and even though that gun is probably one of, if not the best gun in the game, um, you know, whenever you play aggressive, you're always going to open yourself up to a lot more opportunities to have random things happen. You know, you might run around the corner and get punched on a streak. That happened to me a couple times last night. Um, you know, I actually failed a double last night. I went on like 225 gun streaks with the speakeasy. Um, but I was just rushing really, really hard. And, you know, when you do that, you tend to get shot in the back because you're, you know, kind of overextending yourself into the enemy spawn. You know, you're also, uh, like I said, running into situations where, uh, you know, when you're up close and you have these XO movements, if someone, you know, jumps straight up in the air, you tend to lose them a lot. Um, and so from time to time, that can lose you gunfight. So, like I said, I recommend you just run an AR or something and just kind of play not defensive, not campy. Um, but just play smart, and like I said, you know, especially if you play domination, just pick them off the flags. If you play TDM, you know, just you know the standard rules: stick to the outskirts of the map, uh, be where your team is not. That way, you are getting consistent kills, and uh, you should be able to pick up a DNA bomb. And um, <clears throat> like I said, you know, this does work against you know good players too. And uh, you know that's why I did. I was playing ascend, and I just defended the uh, the B and A flags. You know the whole game. And I was able to pick them off just trying to cap the flags because you know if you run into people that are really 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 objective oriented, you're gonna find it pretty easy uh, for them to not pay attention to you, just kind of lurking around picking them off the flag. So anyway, um, that's kind of you know pretty much it. I know it seems really basic, and there's not a lot to it, and there's really not. Um, you know, you just have to make sure that your aim's on point, that you're playing smart, that you're not overextending yourself, like I said, in an enemy spawn, because that's something that'll get you killed a lot, because basically what'll happen is, is you'll, uh, extend yourself into the spawn, either the spawns will flip, or they will, uh, hit one of those, like, crazy side spawns where they don't really spawn near a flag at all, and then you'll get shot in the side, so, yeah, bow, 
AK, ARX, IMR, something like that. You know, keep your distance, play smart, um, play reserved, play conservative, but not, you know, campy. You don't want to sit on a head glitch for too long because then you just get flanked. And you should be able to pick up a DNA bomb. But anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Hope you did enjoy. Uh, if you did, make sure to leave a like. If you hate it, then dislike it. If you're new and enjoyed, uh, feel free to subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.